Welcome to this tutorial video on how to create a high-level roadmap. This is also known as a high-level schedule because that's what it is. It's laying out the time frame and the resources needed to complete your game project. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is define basically what a roadmap is. Uh, and we have a real-world example just here. So as you can see up the top here, there's a timeline that's laid out. This was back in 2011. We have multiple milestones defined, so these are periods where we deliver the game um, and updated content, you know, the, the stuff that we've been working on, to key stakeholders. So this might be a publishing company, so we'd send them a bill so that they could make sure that, you know, we were keeping on license. There's other key milestone dates like, um, you know, points in time where we had to get things reviewed to make sure that we were on track and the, that we could keep going. Um, right up to our alpha which is feature complete so there's no more things that are going into the game all we're doing is polishing and making sure the game is playable from start to finish and hopefully no major bugs then we go into our um, beta period so this is um, pretty much bug fix and lock off this is making sure the game is absolutely stable so we can produce a release candidate and a release candidate is more sort of console centric in its terms this is where you deliver a, a game build to the manufacturer um, this could be Sony or Xbox or whoever and they will test the game um, more likely or not they will find something wrong with the game and you'll have to do a quick fix and and resubmit it until you get to your gold master which is the actual um, the, the the final game in its form to be manufactured and distributed um, and then there's more key milestone dates at the back here we were going to do DLC and you know extra characters for the game that were made after the game shipped so you know people could purchase new content down the low this sort of extended the um, the, the life cycle of the game um, so yeah you got your project timeline along there and your major milestones and sort of the today date so you can see at this particular point in time um, we had planned well ahead um, with all our, our scheduling uh, to you know define that period right up to the end so you know we're giving everybody a good sort of understanding of how we're going to get this project done um, down the left hand side are the actual people that are working on the project and the systems that have been worked on the major systems within those major systems are a whole heap of smaller systems all these things that need to get done um, you know mates making in the online framework so that you know you can find other players online um, leaderboards all sorts of things animation systems you know AI combat you know you gotta have enemies that are uh, easy to fight or not easy but you know uh, that, that have a bit of substance to them um, so and this is just the coders we had you know designers sound engineers um, lots of artists um, animators all sorts of people working on this project and this is just a really small up to 90 actually and this is just a really small section of them so you can imagine the task of of planning this um, I guess uh, to a project of this um, caliber so we're not going to produce something quite as extensive as that um, we're going to be producing this which is um, based on the scenario that's outlined in the the assessment guide it's a game prototype where we've got a six month time period and we're gonna deliver this to our um, creative director and publisher from the uh, the publishing studio or producer from the publishing studio and they're going to um, we're gonna pitch it at the end of this using our pitch presentation and show our prototype and they're gonna say yes or no in funding the full production of the game that's the scenario anyway um, so you can see here it's very similar although very cut down we have our time period at the top which goes from August to January I just picked a random future time period um, we have all our resources or all the people that are going to be working on our game uh, down the left hand side and um, their actual role so you know systems program game plan programmer etc etc so we've, we've defined the people that we need to finish to start and finish this game um, we've got the same kind of milestones uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see what that says so you know, the first milestone is all about defining our project um, second milestone is is white boxing which is a term used to um, develop a lot of content at a very basic level so you can do lots of iterations very quickly and sort of find the fun in your game and then we refine that um, milestone after milestone you know we, we have major sort of uh, goals for each one of these milestones like you know range combat at the end of that milestone melee combat at the end of this milestone um, and then you know hey we're looking like we're getting towards the end of the project so we need to you know have all our content complete 
lock down our game, polish up all the uh, different things we need to do, um, and then go into a, a very solid lockdown period where all we're focusing on is fixing the bugs, making the game build extremely solid, so that when we release it, you know, there's no bad crashes that happen during our presentation um, that might uh, cause our project not to go ahead. Um, and down the bottom here you can see in the scenario we had a uh, two contractors that we we're going to hire, one at the end of the project which is the quality assurance because this is so important to get stability in our build and get rid of all our bugs and uh, a concept artist at the beginning um, to define our project, to help us define our project. So while he's creating this kind of content we're, we're doing all the, the planning for the um, project. So um, and of course down the bottom here we have a legend which is just um, explaining what all the terms that I'm using as I create this um, mean. Um, so I'll move on to the next part which is actually just laying all this out. Um, it'll be sort of like a step-by-step -step guide but I will be talking a lot because what I'm trying to do here is show you my thought process on how I'm planning my project and ho hopefully that should help you out in, in planning your game project.